Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing super fabulous. So in this video, I just wanted to go through um, one of the pieces that I bought at the Killstar Black Friday event. Um, because it's one of the pieces that I've been wanting for a while and it finally went on sale so I picked it up. It is this amazing carry-on suitcase. It has this awesome skull face on the front and it's a thank you guys. It is very cool. It has these rolly wheels. It has this awesome skull face and the Killstar logo at the top and it has a handle. So mine, I actually just took mine out of the plastic and it's, it's, it's a little marked up. It has some black marks on it. And so um, I, I'm guessing that happened before they even put that in the plastic. So I'm guessing that this is not going to stay pink for very long if you do decide to travel with it. It's going to get probably very scuffed up. So ultimately, if you don't want that to happen, I was just getting the black one. I love pink. I love my pink and I love my pink and black. So the cool thing about this bag is that it looks freaking adorable and I don't think you'll really find this anyplace else and you will absolutely stand out at the airport. And the second cool thing is that your bags will absolutely stand out at the airport if you do decide to check them and then you're waiting at the baggage claim you will see your suitcase miles away because it will absolutely stand out. That said, I probably would not check my bag because A, it's gonna get looking all kinds of scuffed up, and B, this, I feel like won't be able to take much of a beating. This is, I don't know how hard that will take before it cracks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna compare this suitcase to a carry-on that I usually use when I travel. So the carry-on size requirements for most major airlines are 22 inches, 22 inches by 14 inches. Fourteen inches by nine inches. And as you can see, this is exactly that. If I were to expand my normal suitcase, it'll add another inch. So expanding this would be over the size requirements. Now for this Killstar suitcase, it comes to 22 inches, so it's good there. 13 inches, so you're good that way. But this way is 11 inches. So already this bag is two inches over the size requirements. So, so I think when you check in, you'll get away with being able to bring this to the gate. However, they may require you to check it at the gate because it is two inches over. So this one is larger than my standard carry-on when it's expanded. So in here, the roomage is a tiny bit smaller because it doesn't have the points, but then it's also a little bit wider. Plus you've got these huge like indentations where the skull eyes are. So that takes up a lot of room. The room inside this bag is not as much as a standard square carry-on. I think getting this onto the plane, if you're on, if you're on a large plane, I think you probably won't have any problem fitting this into the overhead bin. If you're in a, in a smaller plane, you know, like a regional jet or one of those prop jets, this is not gonna fit. And it's probably at the discretion of the flight attendant, you know, whether they're having a good day or not, if they're in a good mood, if they'll let you actually get past and carry this on the plane with you, because you might end up just having to check this at the gate because it is slightly too large. So let's see what I can fit into this. I'm a tiny person, I wear a size small. So I think this is probably okay for a weekend getaway if you're not carrying any big huge goth shoes. Upon opening, you have two compartments. One has a zipper and then the other one has these little strap things that you can use to strap in your clothes so when you open it up, they don't fall everywhere. 
And this has a little pocket. So I'm able to fit a pair of boots, a handbag if I need it, my huge toiletry bag with all of my makeup and all of my stuff that I need, toothbrush, contact solution, etc. A flat iron, a skirt, a sweater, two sweaters actually, and a pair of pants. And of course, you know, the underwear is small, that doesn't take up much space. And that is what I can fit into my cute skull bag. So there you go, you guys. I can fit some things into it, but if you're a larger size than me or if you have bigger shoes than I do, you probably won't be able to fit as much stuff in it. Anyway, I hope this helps. Have a fabulous day, guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Mwah.